Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Spencer Goydell, and today we're going to be describing my descriptive speech on the history of Disney theme parks and resorts. Now Walt Disney himself pioneered a revolution of cartoon making throughout the 1920s and 30s, but throughout the 40s he started making feature length films, and due to the popularity of all his characters, he wanted to bring a little more family magic to everyone. Now, exactly what he did was, while visiting his two daughters, at the Griffith Park merry-go-round in Cal Los Angeles, California, and going throughout Europe with his daughter and visiting parks such as the Tivoli Gardens in Germany, Walt wanted a place where families could be happy and have fun together. So he created Disneyland. And Disneyland Resort opened where, when Walt bought a couple of orange groves and turned it into a theme park in Anaheim, California. So Disneyland opened on July 17, 1955. And a couple months later, it welcomed its one millionth guest. Now, Walt wanted, as well, the, to it, make a theme park of a community of living people. People where they would live every day, work together, create a lot of stuff together. So, Walt created Epcot, Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. But due to the fact that Walt Disney died in 1966 on December 14th, he wasn't able to really fulfill that. So the board of directors of Disney Corporation decided to create Disney World instead, the Walt Disney World Resort, and it opened in Lake Buena Vista, Florida on October 1st, 1971. Now, after it opened, Roy Disney, Walt's brother, still wanted to make the experimental prototype community of tomorrow to honor his brother. So after Roy died as well, the board of directors decided to go ahead with it, and in 1981 opened Epcot. Now, it was more of a theme park than an actual town. However, it did have an exhibitation where things grew and everything. In 19, later that year, Tokyo Disneyland opened as well, due to the popularity of Disney in Asia. A couple years later, in 1989, Disney MGM Studios opened in Lake Buena Vista, Florida, making it the third theme park in the Florida area. Now, MGM Studios was launched due to Rock, who Framed Roger Rabbit. Now, Who Framed Roger Rabbit was a cartoon feature film created by Disney Corporation to promote the new theme park in which they created. And so, in 1989, Disney's MGM Studios opened. In 1991, Disneyland Paris opened. And in 1990, to satisfy the European liking of Disney, and in 19... 94, Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park opened due to Disney's liking of animals and to bring the wildlife to one solid place in Florida. In 1994 as well, Disney ended their partnership with the Big Red Boat Cruise Vacation where they rented out their characters and promoted Disney, Disney's cartoons. So they started their own cruise line and in 1998 and 1999 the Disney Magic and Disney Wonder both set sail for seven night, three and four night vacations. Now, in the year in the year two thousand one, Disney's California Adventure theme park opened, and this was to honor the California state of mind in Disneyland. So Disney knocked down their parking lot in front of Disneyland theme park and, and created Disney's California Adventure. In, two in 2005, Disney created their next theme park in Hong Kong to satisfy more Asian popularity. And due to the vast size, it was only cru it was crucial to Disney that they open up a second theme park. Now, in the year 19, in the year two 2005, Disneyland Hong Kong attracted more than two million visitors. Today's plans for Disney and future plans are Disney's going to be opening up their next theme park in the year 2014 in. Shanghai, in Shanghai, China, as well as the Disney Dream just set sail a couple months ago in January, their third ship, as well as Disney Fancy sank sail in 2012. Disney's also planning on opening up a resort in Hawaii this August. Once again, I'm Spencer Guayelm. Thank you for listening in on my brief synopsis of the history of Disney theme park. Hope you all enjoyed, and take care. Bye-bye.